Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the question on everybody's mind right now and that is have we just seen a ultra big fake out above all time high on the Bitcoin chart and we are ready and waiting for a big crash down or alternatively will the trend hold up will these massive bullish CVD divergences that we are seeing in the chart right now play out and the trend will continue upwards. I will be going over these scenarios, going over the really important levels that we got to be aware of, basically to come to a conclusion of the highest probability trade. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you're going to absolutely love this video. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot of information to give. And obviously, it's nice to be finally back. Obviously, Oh, we've been, myself in particular, been traveling around left, right and center recently. Uh, really nice being meeting so many Chart Champions members. We've met, I've met a lot of Chart Champions members, which is always a pleasure. Uh, really, really, really nice to put, you know, a face to the name in Discord. And literally everybody's an absolute legend. And then obviously last week meeting quite a lot of... Uh, uh, other traders or YouTubers, I think we could maybe call them. And overall, it's been a pretty, pretty, you know, nice few months just like going around meeting people. But I am obviously back now. And you can see this photo here with Mr. Today for the Bitcoin price. Learn a really good thing from him. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, in the pinned comment down below, there is a new, the biggest ever Bybit deposit deal. And that is up to $3,500 for free. $3,500 for free. If you want to make use of that deposit bonus, go over into the pinned comment down below, click on the buy bit link of Chart Champions, create a new account, deposit some Bitcoin and receive the absolutely free bonuses. On top of that, you obviously get 10% off all of your trading fees. That will be down in the pinned comments below. So make sure you make use of that deal if you are an experienced trader. And for everybody else, Obviously, I am now back. Oh, yeah, you know, two to three months off the charts, off of day trading. Uh, finally back today. And, uh, you know, I'm really, 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 really looking forward to it. To be honest with you, it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> three months in trading seems like a very, very, very long time. But it was a, it was a needed break for myself. I had just been working ultra, ultra, ultra hardcore for the past two years. And I was just like, you know, I need a little bit of a break to refresh myself and, um, you know, do some things outside of trading. And now I've had that break and now I am ready and waiting for Bitcoin. And what better time could have I chose to come back just as we're coming back into all time highs, taking that first sculpt trade yesterday. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, that was the quick introduction. And uh, let's get into the charts. This is what we're here for. This is what we love. And uh, obviously, all, we all have to, as always, bring it back to like, the ways that we've come up to these levels. So I've done a bit of analysis here already. And we can see we have had some pretty key levels on the charts. We've obviously had that really big weekly. The weekly wasn't the number one important level for me. This was a really, really crucial level. But we can see how we have been building our way up here, especially when I refer to you to this picture, um, which was back from the 15th of October. Uh, how we had our original, well, this was from the last video, why don't we? We had original key level of support. We obviously bounce off of that up to our daily. We get above the daily. We back test it as support. We move up to the weekly. And at that time on the 15th of October, we obviously knew our weekly was currently resistance. Uh, as I've been saying, we are basically being, you know, flipping every single resistance into support. It's giving a back test. It's giving nice, relaxed, easy trades. That's what we love. We love to make easy trades. <laughs> and we can see what actually happened here on the weekly how we breach that weekly level we spend time above the weekly level obviously flipping it from resistance into support okay and if we zoom in on the chart here we can see how we done a quick demand test of the level and then we got the retest of it on the 18th of october this is showing to us okay this level has clearly flipped from resistance into support we are expecting another move to the upside we obviously then come up into our daily which we then breach the daily we back test it as support and we get our move up into this is then all time highs. And at this point, you have a lot of uh, euphoria. We actually have two types of emotions going on right now. Uh, you have you have one side really euphoric, really happy, you know, FOMOing into all time highs. And then you have the other half that are depressed, upset, feel that they've missed the move. Maybe they sold at $30,000 waiting for lower and they've just been missing and missing and missing. It's breached all time highs and they're just, you know, very upset because they've missed everything. So you have two types of a very emotional, emotionally driven market. But this is the thing with an emotional driven market. There are there are plenty of opportunities. You have massively over leveraged traders and you just have the volume starting to slowly creep back in as people, you know, start to get their emotions, emotional positions are underway. And it really come down to it of 
I will always say you don't really want to short all time highs. There's, there's no point in shorting an all time high. So if you're trying to try to short here, short here, short here, short here, short here, while it's making all time highs, this is a very, very, very dangerous thing to do. But we were offered a very nice, in my opinion, a very nice short opportunity once we had seen a clear rejection and then on the retest. And this is something that I posted into my group yesterday morning. Okay, before the big drop that we saw. And that was when we basically retested that point of control. Okay, so what we've seen to ourselves is we actually had the, uh, if, you, if you paid attention to the contenders material, we had the Eagle session and POC. We actually obviously clearly have the POC here. And we have the potential of that lower high after our big rejection. It's like what I was saying in the last contenders live stream. If you've seen a big move to the upside, you know, you're generally going to get that retest. And you, you come in for these retests, and it's just, you've got to think to yourself, in terms of risk to rewards, is this a good short position? In, in my honest opinion, yes, it is a good short position because why? We've clearly seen a rejection off of the level. We are trading off of a confirmed rejection, okay? And we actually had major support levels to be tested to the downside on top of the fact that we had just seen like what could be referred to a fake out of, of the all-time high. Uh, could have the trade lost, of course it could, but we are always trading in probabilities. Once you've seen that clear rejection, it's very easy to get into your short position. You're risking less less than 1% risk on the trade, you know, for a potential at least 3 to 5% move to the downside. You have to think to yourself, this is a trade uh, that an experienced trader is going to take. And naturally, I, I did take that short position. Okay, and so that, that's why we rejected off where we did. It was actually extremely, extremely technical. It pretty much was the exact high of the move of, of the retest. So very, very well respected technicals. And we can see where we made our way down to. We did not really find much support off the daily. Where we actually came down to was the surprise, surprise, the CC to the absolute dollar, by the way. You can see this Fibonacci pulled from the low. Okay, so this is obviously the low of that weekly uh, weekly retest that we've done. So from the low of the weekly retest up to, of course, the all-time highs. Let me just delete and, and just pull this for you very, very quickly so you can see exactly how it's done. So from the low down there up to the all-time highs. And what you can see if we line this up exactly, 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 did a little, 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 is you can see we basically pull back into the low of the CC. <laughs> I mean, come on, you've you got to admit that this is... <laughs> This is pretty outstanding, managed to, managing to short the um, <laughs> exact dollar high of the move and taking it right down into the bottom of that CC. There, there is no random pivots in this market, let me tell you that. And obviously, yeah, we can see what's happened here. From the bounce off of the CC, we actually put, pulled up fairly quickly up into retest the daily. And if we come down on a lower term time frame here, such as the 15 minute chart, we can see how the low of the CC up to the daily coming to back test the top of the CC, coming back up to the daily. So what do we have going on here on the lower term time frames? Ladies and gentlemen, it's, it is a, it's, a, it's a pretty typical range. Truly, you know, I truly believe this. We have a massively crucial, important support coming in at about, in my opinion, 61,400. So just write down these levels, yeah? So 61,400, crucial, in my opinion, support level for the bulls. Likewise, maybe this resistance isn't quite as important, but naturally it's still acting as a resistance. Currently, can it be broken through on the next test? Yes. You know, I don't think this resistance is, is going to hold down if we continuously do another, you know, another test or two. This this resistance is going to be, it's already weakened, okay? So just remember that, but currently obviously that daily that's coming in at 63.554. Again, this is a little bit of a zone. Don't look at it as an exact dollar, but we can see here we slightly breach through it. Here we slightly front run it. Here we slightly breach through it. So this is obviously a bit of a zone. Uh, so you could just say 30, uh, $63,600 for a bit of a zone. Of course, the more times that we test this level, especially if we are continuously making obviously our low, high, higher low, higher high. If we are to make a higher low here and move back up, obviously, if you've been following trading assistant, man, the guy, the guy's an absolute legend, but obviously uh, giving some uh, scalp long positions earlier today if you paid attention to him. But um, nevertheless, if we are making these higher highs and higher lows and we do not break this local market structure, obviously what we can do here, we can put add on our lovely little channel. Okay. And we can start to think, okay, if we are going to reclaim this daily level of support, we can be looking back up to the top of the channel. Okay, obviously, then if we break to the top of the channel, the big level right now of resistance is clearly $66,000. You know, 66, again, a little bit of a zone, 66,200 ish, uh, 66,200, but this bit of a zone of 66,000. So it's like, really, if we can claim that daily, we're looking up to the top of the channel. If we clear that, we're looking up to about $66,000. If we clear that, well, 
one would say it's highly probable that we're going to be making a new all-time high. Obviously, we would like to break this, um, you know, now the, the current um, high, low, lower high, lower low. So we could obviously add a channel onto this. We would like to break that key level because that was obviously you know you had about three four levels of confluence for these short positions so we would naturally like to see that broken as well and you can kind of see my style of trading here it's a level to level style of trading i'm not getting euphoric i'm not getting bearish you know i am literally trading this in, in such a non-biased way yeah I, I don't mind if we go up because if we go up i know the levels to trade I don't mind if we go down because i know the levels to trade i'm not scared to take shorts just because we're all, we, just because we're you know are in a bullish trend it's like during this uptrend actually i took quite a few short positions but what i'm recognizing is okay we are overall highly likely to push up you know i have had since twenty nine thousand dollars a very bullish bias you know, I've been bullish since $29,000 on a high term time frame. That does not mean, though, on the lower term time frames down here on the 15 minute, five minute charts, I will not take short positions. It's just when I take a short position, I recognize it's more for a, you know, it has to be for a quicker type of trade. And then if I'm looking for longs, yeah, I can hold these longs for a lot longer. OK, so it all comes down to time framing. You know, it's, it's it, I, maybe a little bit too advanced for some people, but that's why you got to learn. That's why you got to learn because you can extract a lot of money from this market right now so yeah it, it kind of comes down to now we've got an, we've got a little bit of a range with the upward sloping channel if we are to lose this of course we can look back down to the lower of our range we know our next level of support should we you know maybe go for a little bit of a fake out swing fair pattern of this low and then alternatively if we lose that we obviously know really big level now that again i want to say it's a zone i want to say it's a zone please don't think it's an absolute dollar level but we obviously got a bit of a zone down here of support okay we could obviously breach 60k again uh but how are we going to breach 60k well first we would need to break out of this upwards sloping channel then we would need to lose our cc zone of support and then we come down to the weekly the same as here we're not looking for all-time high until we breach our levels of resistance so it really is such a such a i don't want to even say clever way of trading it's just a sensible way of trading it really is really 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 a sensible way of trading and <laughs> um yeah and i mean it comes down to like what i put in this tweet yesterday lose all of your ego and at the end of the day you can still be wrong on your idea let's say for example i'm targeting sixty thousand dollars if i've shorted sixty six thousand six hundred and sixty six and i'm targeting sixty thousand but i've hit a really big important take profit one and then we reverse and make a new all-time high and i get stopped out that short i was wrong per se on the overall trading idea but i still made money and what's more important to make money or to be right well it should be to make money, yeah? So if you can lose your ego, if you know sensible risk management, if you're very good at taking profits, then, you know, you could be wrong on ideas and still make money. I'm not necessarily saying I'm expecting 60,000, by the way. All I'm saying is I know my levels of support. I know my levels of resistance. I know which trades I will take off those levels. And I'll let the trades come to me. Yeah, I'm very, very, very patient. And I'm very what can i say uh very good at technical analysis as seen in some of our levels right they, they are literally giving to the dollar trades to the dollar trades this is this is not hindsight trading these levels have been marked out months in advance we have been ready and waiting for such levels and then see just seeing the way that they're respected to the dollar each time is just absolutely magical and i mean yesterday it was it just happened again to the dollar of our, of our resistance and then obviously to the dollar of the cc and you know us you know how much we love the cc and yeah i mean there's no way you can this, oh man it's just like if you appreciate what we're giving here right now it's a gold mine it, it truly is a gold mine and uh so this was just a just a video today to remind you all of the levels to be trading the style of trading that we're doing okay not to get euphorically bullish yes of course it, one would say it's more likely that we push to all-time highs uh we, you know we just have massive crazy bullish divergences um but at the end of the day it's still sensible to take a hedge or at least a short if you come up into a level of shorts of course you could say acknowledge it's more likely to win longs than shorts right now but nevertheless if you are an experienced trader if you are a good trader why would you not take such positions i mean it would be very silly not to take a trade if it's staring you in the face no of course that requires a level of confidence and and that's something that you're going to get over time absolutely you'll get that over time but don't have, don't think you're going to have the confidence i have in trading after trading for one year yeah and try after 10 years um anyway i digress of course i will remind you all once again 
I am finally back into the swing of things, into the lower term time frame scalp and day trading. So if you want my updates throughout the day, I'm going to be very active once again over in Discord. So happy days for the contenders, uh, obviously for our back on the contenders videos. Obviously, I'm primarily just going to be in the champion section, along with now some of the many other good traders that we have, including Mike, Victor and Igor being the coaches active as well. I will remind you once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to make use of that $3,500 bonus, you can create an account with Bybit today uh, via the affiliate links. And uh, yeah, I'll leave that in the comments down below. If, if you're interested, I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video. Uh, currently seeing another push to the upside. Let's see if we can form this kind of ascending triangle type move and uh, see if we can break, breach up to test our next level of resistance. Uh, happy days if we do. I'm ready and waiting. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Smash that thumbs, but thumbs up button as hard as you can, and I will see you in the next video or over on Discord. So cheers, everybody. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.